Hi guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with Dewey Basil 2 and After Effects. Let's get started. So, vectors from philippic.com. I will add the online link and project files. First step, select this background and lock layer. Select this TV layer. Again, lock layer. Then, go to select this handwrite and go to solo then go to select puppet pin and let's add one puppet here one here and one here click selection tool and change puppet engine legacy click ok and close on solo then select this hand left go to solo add again puppet pins one here one here and one here Click selection tool and change puppet engine legacy. Let's close and unsolo. Select this foot left, go to solo and add puppet one here, one here and here. Click selection tool and change puppet engine legacy and unsolo. Close settings. Select this foot right, go to solo again, add puppet pins one here here and here click selection tool and change engine legacy and unsolo then select this body go to solo and select palm behind move to anchor point down click selection tool and unsolo and select this here go to solo again move to anchor point down click selection tool and unsolo Select these eyes and eyebrow, pair onto this head. Select this head, press air, let's see. Okay, let's move to here. Again, chain rotation, nice. Then select this hand right and go to window, open Duke Bezel 2. So let's click this rigging icon and select this hand right, go to FX control, select this puppet and click add bones nice we have three bones let's parent select this bones three parent bones two and select this bones two parent bones one so let's click this icon for hide this part okay and select this puppet pin one parent to this body and let's select this three puppet pins or bones click auto rig ik nice select this controller let's see okay very nice close settings let's select this hand left and go to fx control select this puppet and click add bones again select this puppet pin 3 pair onto this puppet pin 2 and select this puppet pin 2, parent puppet pin 1. And select these puppets, go to click auto rig IK. Select this controller, let's see. Okay, nice. Let's close settings. And select this foot left, go to FX control, select this puppet. And click add bones. Nice. And select this again bone 3 parent bone 2 select this 2 parent parent 1 and select this 3 puppets go to click i key nice let's see okay very nice rig let's close settings and finally select this foot right go to again fx control select this puppet and go to click add bones select this bone 3 parent bone 2 select this bone 2 parent 1 select these three bones go to click auto rig again let's select this controller let's see nice good close settings so select this foot puppet pins let's foot right select this puppet pin 1 like this and select this foot right puppet pin one okay 
and let's pair onto this body select this body press p let's see okay nice so select this foot puppets this and these three puppets let's lock layer and click toggle switch mode and uh, let's click this icon this icon and this icon and select this other foot puppet, puppet pins select these three puppets and click this lock layer again click this icon this and this icon let's go to click this icon for hide all layers nice okay let's select this hand puppet pins select this puppet pin one this is the right hand and select this puppet pin one for left hand and pair onto this body select this body press air let's the whole to work it okay nice very nice select this here to pair onto this body let's say again change rotation okay good so select this puppet pins and lock layer lock shape layers and click this icon for hide layers and this puppet pins let's lock layers and hide okay nice so let's change names select this controller let's change hand right okay and select this puppet pin hand left and this controller foot left foot left and foot right okay nice so select this cup let's pair onto this hand right controller select this hand right controller let's see okay nice and select this joystick pair onto this hand left two let's select this hand left two controller okay nice and select these fingers pair onto this joystick and select this finger one pair onto this hand left and finger two pair onto this finger one let's select this hand left okay nice and select this finger one let's zoom vector go to solo and move the anchor point here click selection tool and unsolo and select this finger two go to solo move the anchor point up and click selection tool and solo okay let's select this controller let's see nice so all rig is done and we can make animation now let's close duik window go to three seconds let's press n for select work area and select this body press air go to first second make new rotation k frame and go to 10k frame let's add here plus 10 click enter and change rotation minus 3 select shape frames make easy let's see select these shape frames move to right let's say again okay let's select this shape frame change minus 6 let's say again nice and go to here make new rotation key frame go to again 10 key frame change 3 let's see okay and let's select these key frames move to right select this key frame move to right again for slow animation let's see okay so in this time select this hand left and first second move to down this hand like this and in this time select this press p make new position key frame and go to 5k frame let's add here plus 5 and move to up this hand okay select key frames make easy let's see okay this very speedily let's select this key frame move to right ok 
okay and in this time make new patch in keyframe go to here move to down and go to 5k frame move to up let's see and select this hand left hold shift press air and go to here make rotation keyframe go to again here chain rotation like this and go to again last keyframe change rotation zero select these keyframes, frames make easy let's see nice so in this time select this finger one and press air make rotation keyframe select this finger two press air make rotation keyframe and go to here change rotation and this rotation and go to last shape frame change rotation again and this change rotation for press button animation select shape frames make easy okay let's move to left these shape frames move to left again okay and go to here change rotations like this let's see nice okay and in this time make new position keyframe and go to here select first keyframe ctrl c ctrl v and go to here make rotation keyframe go to last keyframe change rotation like this and move to here let's see nice so in this time select this hand right controller go to here let's press p make new position keyframe and go to five keyframes move to down select keyframe make easy let's see and in this time make new position keyframe go to here move to right let's see and now make new position keyframe again go to here select first keyframe ctrl c ctrl v let's see okay very nice so in this time select this here go to here press air and make rotation keyframe change rotation like this and go to here change rotation let's select this keyframe move to right select keyframes make easy let's see okay and in this time let's create bones effect select this here hold shift press p make new position keyframe and go to center and move to down go to again last keyframe select first keyframe ctrl c ctrl v and make keyframes easy let's see okay nice and make rotation keyframe again go to here and change rotation zero and select these keyframes ctrl c ctrl v and move to here let's see again okay select keyframes let's move to right nice select these three position keyframes hold alt move to right let's say again okay nice so in this time select these eyes press s click this icon and go to here make scale keyframe go to 3 keyframe 1 to 3 change scale 5 go to again 3 keyframe 1 to 3 change 100 select keyframes make easy let's see okay select keyframes ctrl c and go to here ctrl v for loop ice animation let's see nice so let's select this smoke and delete okay and select this eyebrow press p and in this time make new position keyframe and go to here move to down let's see okay and in this time make new eyebrow keyframe go to here 
Select first keyframe, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Select keyframes, make easies. Let's see. Nice. And finally, let's create new solid. Add name TV light. And click OK. Let's press T, change opacity 20. And go to pen tool. Let's make mask like this. Click selection tool and press and open mask. Mask 1 and change mask feather like this. Then select this TV light, move to back here and press T, make new keyframe and move to right and change 0. Then select this solid and go to here when this click button. Move to right this solid. Let's see. Nice. So, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.